Hello everybody, Flick here, it's time for yet another Let's Look At, and today we are taking a look at Hyper Bounce Blast by Flump Studios. I was given this code by the developers to try out, and I've been playing it a little bit off camera. It's a very interesting mix between, well, they describe it as a retro shooter blended with a platformer, which is not two things you often see put together in the same way that they've done here. Uh, the platforming comes into effect purely to give you survivability and also a multiplier to your score. Uh, I'll start from the start because I actually find this game quite difficult. It, it's got a learning curve for sure, but once you get in the zone, you can do some pretty fancy looking stuff. Uh, that said, while also trying to do commentary and think about what I'm saying, that's going to be a little bit difficult, so I expect to probably do worse. We'll see though, so let's go in and we shall just start a normal mode. There's a lot of modes to go through though. There's Arcade Classic, Arcade Arrange, Time Trial, uh, Time Rush, sorry, Tournament, two more to unlock, and then you can also start at different waves. I will start back down... What does that say there? Oh, the boss wave, of course, yes, because I beat the boss. We'll start back at wave one. We're not using gamepad, I'm just using the keyboard and mouse. We'll do auto fire normal. Actually, what are the other options here? Full. Standard requires you to hold down the left button. Full auto means the game will be firing you. Oh, that yeah. That would be very helpful if the game just fired by itself while we were focusing on the platform, but I feel like it would make it too easy. The challenge is part of the fun, so we'll keep it on normal. We'll keep the tutorial off as well, I can kind of go over what I'm doing myself. And then there's all the other play modes that you can try. I've only been playing Classic, because I don't think I'm good enough to change it up a little bit, but we'll see. Where does it say here? Listen to the Classic OST, or sorry, listen to the OST the old-fashioned way. Tracks change depending on the current wave. Oh, that's not game modes at all, that is all entirely music. Ah yeah, there we go, Shuffle, Order, Repeat, Classic. Never mind, the modes were over here, the first thing I looked at. I was being slightly silly. Alright, let's start, and I shall show you what's going on. Well, there's the buttons. So, W, A, S, D, but, well, you're not using S, but jump is W, A is move left, D is move right. You can also jump with your right click. I think you can also use spacebar as well, actually. Let me get in and try. So there's where the platforming comes in. The higher you've bounced up the screen, the bigger the multiplier you get. Your hitbox is only the yellow bit in the middle, incidentally. No, you can't right click. Red enemies have to be shot. Blue, uh, well, blue platforms, I guess. They're not really classed as enemies. They are for bouncing. So if we stay on the bottom, we're just getting one time score. But if we get right up to the top, we can actually get times five. You can also bounce once off the wall to get a little bit of height. So we can do things like that. It makes very similar noises to a Mario game. That gives us a lot of score. And if we hit the roof, we get a big bonus. And then lots of satisfying sound effects and visual effects go off as well. Don't be deceived, it gets a hell of a lot harder, especially when it starts to mix the two concepts together, like it's starting to do now. Now, when you're bouncing, you get a little bit of invincibility, whereas if you're not bouncing or touching the bottom, you don't. So you're much more vulnerable if you're not taking advantage of the platforming. And later on, when enemies are firing from all directions, it becomes too difficult to just stay on the bottom, even if you're good at dodging bullets. Like, I, I guess I am a little bit. Like, you see the, the new bar around me? That is my protection, so I won't get killed. While I'm doing this bouncing. And the more points you get, the bigger you build up your stars and this bar up here, which is your hyper bar. I have never done well enough to get my hyper bar up full, so that should give you some indication about how difficult I found playing this game. <laughs> but we have earned our first star. I am doing a little bit better, but that's because I'm now a little bit used to these early waves. So here comes the first boss. In a very Mega Man X-esque fashion as well, actually. So, it starts off simple enough, he's got two cogs that you shoot here, and if you break one you trigger a phase where you can actually deal good damage to him. He also puts up a shield though, so you have to take advantage of the platforming. There we go, to his weak point, his HP bar is up the top there, it goes in phases. And generally, well, I can't remember if it's the same for this boss, but later bosses, they become more and more bullet helly as they go on, so you have to do the platforming to stay invincible through all the bullets. He starts shaking, he's firing a couple more beams off right now, but nothing too major. There's a shield back up again. And we get our choice of which direction to go through. We're going to go up this side and we're going to bonk. Some more bullets have been added, but that's not going to matter, hopefully. By the way, we have two lives that are in the top right. Go. Critical kill. So that's how a phase goes in Hyperbounce Blast. We'll keep going, obviously. And now you actually see it get it.
properly difficult, because that's just kind of like the tutorial phase. Different music kicking in now as well, and I will try not to embarrass myself while I'm also talking as I play. We'll see though. Gotta remember the, the wall bounces there. Green things give you a bonus if you kill them before they either vanish or touch the ground. And we get a bonus for touching the roof there, although then we get sent straight back down. Just try and keep it going. That went well. We did get a massive multiplier because it was done at times two for most of that, I feel. But yeah, our current wave and HP is up there. Alright, so those enemies are very tough. They take a lot of hits to take down. So generally you want to be invincible while you fight them. They also give you a massive point bonus if you get them. Uh-oh. That was risky. Very nearly fell on a bullet. Now, I actually think it doesn't want you to hit the roof. I was I actually thought that gave you a, a single point bonus, but I think the ideal here is to stay at point five, uh, times five rather, without actually hitting the roof. I might be wrong, because it seems to force you down when you do that. I think that might have been a, a nuance I was missing when I was playing off camera. Try and stay up. Absorb the bullets. Get the green ones for bonus points. Nope. Touch the bottom, unfortunately. As long as there's something to bounce on, we'll do fine. But you've kind of got to think ahead about where you're wanting to bounce to. Our hyperbar is getting up full. Alright, here's a new obstacle. We have to hit both sides, otherwise we get sandwiched in and eventually the beam will cross over your weak point and you will die. Ah, now in this situation the green thing is actually going to vanish real quick, but we did manage to get it. bouncing. So this is how it goes and you do get into that flow state that I love about games like this. So and there's an upgrade as well. I won't say I'd ever play as at my best while also trying to talk at the same time but I'm trying to think what was the name of that? There's a game I covered in the series fairly recently. I think towards the end of last year it had a Zenzi Zenkin something like that. I, I, I would put this as that type of game as well. This was a really bad bounce. I'm now kind of sandwiched in here with nothing to bounce on. Oh, and I jumped straight into a bullet. All right, we lost a life. We're also going to lose those points. Oh, wait, no, we're not. If you die, well, you can set kind of like where you respawn. I have it set, so I just go back to whenever the previous checkpoint was. There's a checkpoint after every boss. Before every boss as well, I think. And then every five or ten waves after that, I can't quite remember. So this boss is a little bit harder. He turns and does a very specific attack as he turns, and if you get caught by it, it's instant death. So you have to try and make sure you're not where his beam will be, because you can't just jump through it. Now remember the yellow dot on my guy, or whatever the hell we are, that's the only thing that's a hitbox. So as long as that doesn't get hit, we're fine. So now we have to actually use these enemies to bounce up above it. And as you can see, he gets a little bit of bullet hell in that phase. So again, we, we don't want to get caught in the beam, we don't want to get caught by his bullets. And also he started firing a new type of shot too. And uh, there was nothing I could do there. That's yeah, okay, we still have another hit. We really need to start bouncing them, like right now. Okay, there we are. We just have to follow the bouncing around until we're high enough to smack him. There we are. We might do, we've got no hits left though. And he gets quite dangerous in this final phase. His speed is variable as well, so you can't just always know where to stand to dodge a particular wave. Alright, we're just going to follow this around again. Bounce off the wall, there we go. And hopefully finish him off. Now he started moving instead of doing beams, which is harder to focus on when you're also trying to dodge. Come on, all those hours playing Gungeon are paying off. Kind of. Oop. There we are. We've got to get up nice and quick. And there we go. So there will be a link to the Steam Store page for the game in the description box below. They're asking for a very fair price, I feel. This is not a Steam sale price if you are watching this while the summer sale is going on. 
It's available for £3.99, which is more than fair, I feel. Obviously, it's up to you to discern whether or not that is value for money. It's currently saying uh, overwhelmingly positive Steam reviews, as of me recording this anyway. So yeah, it's been well received. I think if you're into flow state games, this is one you should definitely look at. It says good bank, it doesn't say bad bank. Uh, although it did just drop me directly into the shot that killed me, but let's not dwell on that. So yeah, we can upload our score to the leaderboard, which I have done. Then we can restart from the last checkpoint. Zenzi Zenzik. That was the, the game name I was thinking of, yeah. It reminds me of that, which I, I did play a little bit more off camera, although I found that to be more difficult than this in terms of when you are just focusing on playing. Alright, we kept the bounce going there. I would very much like this green enemy to die. For the star. I'm just going to avoid hitting the ceiling if possible. Yes, okay. Oh, that is nasty. Getting penned in a little bit here. There we are. There's good visual feedback as well when you've done something right. The music is fine, it's it's there. It's not bad music, it's just, you know, I haven't really noticed it that much. There was a different Flow State game I remember covering which had an absolutely amazing soundtrack and that actually made up for not exactly amazing gameplay, but again I've forgotten the name of it. <laughs> oh, I got the points, barely. That big enemy over there is being a problem. There we are. So this is a new obstacle type. It fires at beams every so often. As far as I'm aware, it can't be killed. It doesn't register being hit. I can't quite remember if it also ignores your your defense when you're bouncing as well. I think it does. Hopefully we won't have to find out if we keep on going like we're going. Very much like to kill you, please. There we are. Was it worth losing my bouncing? Maybe not. Oh, very nearly. That was a very lucky wave end there. Oh, we actually also have our hyper ready. I'm not sure if that's worth holding on to or just using when things get a bit hectic here. I guess just to show it off, I'll use it when there's a few red enemies on the board. Oh, when the big enemy appears, actually. There's our hyper! Unfortunately, because I touched the ground fairly soon, it, it didn't last very long. I'll take those bonus points, thanks very much. <sighs> Nearly. It's sometimes you're so focused on trying to work out where your next jump is going to go, you don't pay attention to where the enemies are, so that's definitely where I can see the auto-firing mode come in, but that would take away a lot of a difficulty. The fair difficulty, I would say, as well. But if you are finding the game hard and you want to play it, that's a mode that would definitely be, make it easier on you. Like I'm trying very hard... Ah, there we go, it's confirmed, yeah. That is just an insta-death beam. Even if you're bouncing. That is nasty. Alright, we'll keep well away from that, then. Well, as best we're able. It moves pretty quick. Oh, I didn't notice this. There we are. Alright, we've got a new checkpoint. Because we're up to another boss. Which one is this again? Oh, I died to this. I've never actually beaten this. Alright, so let's give it a, the old college try. We'll wear it down. Trigger the next phase. Any second now. As soon as we finish this bar, there we are. Wait, why did no platforms appear? Have I forgotten something? Now, either way, we can handle this. Ah, maybe you're just supposed to bounce off the back wall. Maybe that's what I was doing wrong. 
I actually thought if you touched it, even though he was technically down and stunned, you still took damage. Maybe that's what I was missing. We'll try again when we wear down this bar. See what happens. We'll bounce off the back wall. Ah. Yeah, I thought touching him would injure you. Alright, the lines are getting a bit more sophisticated now. Alright, let's see if we can do this. This pattern's changed. Oh, breathe in. Nearly. We still have one hit left in us. So that's not too bad. Oh, oh that was so close. Critical hit. He's on to his last bar. Oh, we've got to do the beams first, of course. Oh, this is manageable. Alright, let's do it. Oh, he's firing three death beams now, okay. That was that was very lucky. <laughs> Oh, that was very lucky. If he'd fired beams there, there was nowhere I could have went. Oh, kill him. There we are. Oh. Alright, I haven't actually ever killed that boss. He's complete. We'll go until I die. We'll see how I can do. Let's see what horrors await us. So this is new to me. If there's any new elemental features. Environmental, I mean, not elemental. I will not have seen them before. Um, I would like to get past to bounce on this. Oh good, a big enemy's coming. They're the best! Just gonna wait for the opening, and then get up there. Rack up those points, rack up the invincibility. Uh oh, they're, they're way too high for me to get to. It's okay, because the wave is down. Try and get up there and stop that laser. Right, it cost us platforming, but that's okay. Well, maybe it's okay. The difficulty stepped up a little bit. The platforms are a bit more erratic now, too. I, I say as I get a nice little line like this. We need these removed, please. Here we are. You can tell I'm focusing more now because I'm also talking less. Just platforms. Oh, there we go. There's an environmental thing to avoid. Buzzsaws! And they go right around. Let me get higher. There we go, that kind of works, although now I've got to watch out on the roof as well, obviously. <sighs> You're like... Give me a platform. Alright. We're still kicking. Barely. My hyper is ready, but I'd rather use it when... And probably when I'm on my last hit. And we do still have one hit in us. What is this? The boss we just killed? Actually, it's harder than that. There we are. Ooh, that's a pretty attack you've got there. I wonder if I can actually phase through that. Oh, bonus wave, okay. It's got no CRT monitor. Oh, it's centipede. Can't 
bench on these still, sadly. I played Centipede, the, the free one you got if you loaded up a, was it Master System or Mega Drive? Without any cartridge in. Oh, two at once now, okay. Flapper bonus. Get the red one. Get the red one. Oh, they're going to touch. No. Oh, so close. Oh, we still got 260,000 bonus. Go on, game. Show me what you got. I've got more death beams, that's for sure. Don't make me hyper, because I'll hyper. Oh, watch out for the bus sods. Bonus, bonus, bonus points, exactly. I also just got an achievement for doing that. Oh, the bus sods vanished. Wait, are they stealthing? No, they did just vanish. Alright, we actually got another boss. I don't want to show off too much, so if I live through this, I, I will stop after it. I have not seen it before. It looks like a Pokeball. Let's do it. Are you going to turn as you fire? Oh, they turn blue as you do damage to them. But I can't reach them where you are. I get it, okay. I use them to get around to your weak point. Okay. So yeah, you're creating the jumping pads for you to be able to hit him. Got to make sure I'm converting all of them. There we are. And then we follow them up. Just use them like so. There we are. Yeah, this is the angle I want because I'm hitting... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Trippy. Alright, he's gotten a little bit more difficult. I'll admit it. I also can't convert them in this form, it seems. Alright, we're getting there, though. turning slower now, so it's harder to get the back ones. Oh, there we go. Alright, focus. Well, he's doing the sound wave thing. Oh, he's doing the sound wave thing and bullets now. Kind of click more of them. There we go. Two more to go. Buzzsaw thing. Oh no, he is just a buzzsaw now. Alright. Oh no, 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 no. You think you are a Mega Man boss? I jumped right into him. Still got. That was our, like, spare hit. We're on to our last hit now. Just, just get them, real quick. There we are. He stopped! You bastard! Damn! Oh, he screwed us. I didn't realise they were going to not go up again. That's where previous knowledge of the boss is going to come into play, I guess. I can't reach the last two again. Ah, oh, we're in trouble. Got to try and just move with him, I guess. Give me, give me the other red ones. Oh, screw you. There we are. There we are. There we are. There we go. 
Alright, this has been a little look at Hyper Bounce Blast, available for £3.99 on the Steam Store, which will be linked below. If you enjoyed it, go check it out, read some of the reviews, keep in mind these have just been first impressions. I like it, but it's not for everybody. Thanks for watching, and ta-ta for now.